It is about that time for Ready, Set, Real Estate with your host, Lisa P., Lisa Porto, Super Agent. Oh, I am so excited that we are continuing our five-part series on ADU with Your Dream ADU, Joseph Leduff, and Sean Smith. However, before we jump into part three of Illegal Units, just want to give some shout outs. Thank you to my family and friends who continue to support my wild ideas. I really love and appreciate you all. I want to thank our new subscribers who are listening and tuning in on our radio podcast everywhere. Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Breaker, Breaker Anchor, CastBox, on and on and on. We, we continue to spread across the radio wave. And the coolest thing is that we have access to over 5 million car dashboards internationally. People are doing mobile university and we want to be there. And that's what Ready Set Real Estate is about. Empowering you with the information and the, the education of real estate. There's tons of things you should know, know about, and we're happy to do that. This show supports Real Estate 100 Youth Foundation, our country's first nonprofit, introducing real estate literacy to youth ages 11 and up. Imagine what your world would be like. Imagine what your world would be like if you knew real estate terms and concepts at age 11, 14, 16, even 18, before you got out of high school, if you made it out of high school. Imagine if you had some concepts. So if you can imagine that, why that large, that big, learn more at realestate100youth.org and get connected with the work that we are doing across the country. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Joseph, Sean, how are you today? Welcome back. Great, great. How's everybody? Awesome, awesome. Doing I great. am feeling really good uh, about today's show. I'm really feeling excited about how things have been going as we continue our series. And thank you again, you, you both, for taking the time out on your busy schedule. Because certainly I know everyone is excited about getting connected with you, uh, creating income streams from their garages. Yo, (laughs) would you imagine that we would be discussing this at this time, day and age, to pull out your car car and and turn it into a moneymaker? Tell us a little bit more about that. Let's just recap and then jump into part three, illegal units. Um, Yeah, um, so uh, Senate Bill 1069, um, had passed at the end of uh, uh, was 2017, October. So, you know, right now the land that you own, you could either take a attached or a detached garage or even the land in the backyard that, you know, you have extra land space or, uh, you know, something, you know, of that nature. Or you could do an addition where it's a passive income unit. So we're just educating and helping, uh, you know, touch as many homeowners as we can. There's over uh, half a million uh, homes in Los Angeles that are needed, or or are actually over six hundred thousand, and there's over half a million homes zoned for ADUs. So it's a great thing. Um, this you know, and jumping into the illegal side, we have fifty six uh, to about yeah, over a little over fifty six thousand uh, illegal dwelling units, and over a hundred some thousands of illegal garages. Period. Woo! So. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> over fifty six. Thousand illegal conversions. Yeah, just right here in, in inner city LA. I mean, just we haven't in even inner done, city LA. Oh. Yeah, we haven't even done the numbers on really. Yeah. Too, I mean, we have, but we're really more focused on you know. Yeah. Los Angeles, Los Angeles. Yeah, we'll be, but, yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll be focused on the greater LA because this yeah. Yeah. we could have the most impact. Um, wow. Over 56,000 illegal units. I, I, I grew up in one, Lisa. You know, I'm from L.A., born and raised. I grew up in an illegal dwelling unit. Um, yeah, you know, this is definitely nothing, you know, um, people obviously more than, you know, 50,000 homeowners know about you know, this. And, um, you know, the fact that it's legal now is definitely, you know, something that's going to catch wind and start catching up for homeowners' attention. Um, 
J Joseph, was it? I don't know. I, I don't recall if we had got into sharing your story about the illegal conversion. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking me and you kind of. Yeah, we talk. We kind of. Did we there. talk offline? And I just. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah I, I think I think we spoke offline, and let's just recap just kind of the significant impact. And I think you really, um, you know, you have. You both actually both have experience in yeah. what you're doing, as you know. Sean covered about the the importance of the senior and why this is important because he, you know, his mom does that work. He's closely, you know, connected to that work. Right. And ADU being a solution to, um, you know, the the seniors who are who are now in retirement and and aging. You, I think, more so on this side of the legal conversion. You first-hand experience of kind of the risk is is that the good word is that a word I mean the risk and yes yes it's their risk you know um I grew up uh you know off of second avenue in Vernon for you know 16 almost 17 years of my life and when being there um at towards the end my when I would come back and visit my mom a lot back and forth um it, it, it just turned into a situation where the city was already contacting her a lot. They were hitting her up with fines and fees at the point. And, you know, I'm, I'm a kid or I'm a young teenager. I'm not even like into that. She's not even allowing me to be into that. Obviously I don't, that's not none of my business. But at one point I remember it was like, after a couple of weeks, she was just like, we're moving. And it was like, what? <laughs> what? Like we're moving. I mean, I know it was bad. The city's bad sometimes. And you got a lot of, you know, situations in the neighborhood, but you know, we, we got to, you know, in my head, I was like moving, you know, it was kind of heartbreak by that, but it, it affected her dealing with that illegal situation. It had to affect her, it affected her on um, keeping the property. She had to sell it. And when she did sell it, her and my grandmother, who the property originally, you know, uh, they didn't get what they were supposed to get for it, you know, and um, basically it comes down to now me comprehending that and understanding that you know, if you have a garage that is a legal dwelling unit, I'm sorry, a legal dwelling unit or a garage, it doesn't matter. And if you actually take care of it and do it properly by going through the permits and, and you know, especially with these beautiful floor plans, I mean, Sean has it going on. I mean, you don't, you wouldn't want, I mean, you would just, it's a no brainer. You, you, you do the ADU um, or you convert the garage and now from illegal to a um, actual uh, legal dwelling unit. And uh, the property value goes up in the home. You know, you could rent it out for passive income. There's no risk. There's insurance. You know, there's all the, the perfect. And now it's a perfect picture instead of an ugly mess. Yeah, <clears throat> I could appreciate that you touched on a couple couple pointers that I want to expound on, especially because for those people who are listening and <clears throat> thinking about this as a future project or you currently have this scenario, uh, it's something I deal with all the time, and it's when people say, "Yes, we have, <laughs> we're ready to sell." Right, great. Okay, so you now either attached, you know, you've expanded your property, you added eight hundred square feet, or you now converted your garage, and it's like, great. I can't count that. I cannot count that. Mm -hmm. This is now just bonus rooms, and now I have to put disclaimers on. The yes. listing that buyer, you know, we say it anyway. Buyer to do their own due diligence, but you know, garage is not you know unpermitted conversion. Yep. Now you've got to go do the homework, and now you really expose yourself to this liability, especially if you're in the city of LA. You know, I mean, <laughs> if you go to other cities, I mean, whoo, they don't, they do not play when it comes to that. So, right. I mean, Lisa, right now we have a currently um, me and Sean are dealing with a, a homeowner, beautiful family, great property. I mean, a beautiful freaking property, man. And they have an illegal garage. So the garage is illegal. Brand new framing. Everything is fine. But they're saying that the garage is illegal. The city, um, they're finding uh, that she has uh, the electric work was done and it uh, was not done correctly. Mm -hmm. So now and also the foundation doesn't have any footage. Mm -hmm. So right now she's looking at either a between a thirty to fifty dollar job or fifty thousand dollar job, or she could go ahead and, and convert the and then just have the garage. And for me and her, she's like, you know, I don't want to do that, Joseph. I want to get to the money because that's where you know she wants to do. Now her father is saying, you know, what's the difference? The garage, this. So we had to educate him because he was a little bit older and he's a senior. And then we touched on the senior points for them and also the value of the home going up if, and having the passive income and you know, et cetera. 
And it, it turned into actually going from, okay, let's do the garage and just put the footers and the firewall and et cetera to let's go ahead and do, you know, now Sean is building a, a nice floor plan and layout for her now. Uh, we'll be sending it out to her this week. And it's, it's you know, it, it turns into that. So now you could take an illegal garage, make go ahead and fix it and put your car back in it. But your neighbor who's doing the ADU or the, you know, the garage conversion is, is, is winning now. You're not. You're having the a garage to put your vehicle in. It's just going to depreciate. <laughs> it doesn't right. make you any money. You know, they're selling points. Yo, yeah, you know, you get the car to get to work. Okay, but what happens while I'm at work? Everyone thinks at every moment, it's the biggest study still to this day at every high institute or every high, every college, anywhere, anyone does a study or anyone just sits there and thinks, money, <laughs> money, oh, money, money. That's, how do I make money? How do I make money? You know, how do I get better? How do I do this? How do I get, you know, like that? And it usually comes back to, okay, I need money. So, you know, when you're at work, when you're sleeping, when me and Sean have found cases, uh, right, Sean, remember this one woman, she, um, she she didn't know her value of her home went up ten thousand dollars mm -hmm. just the 30 days that she was gone and doing whatever she was doing at work cooking sleeping and, you know i'm sorry whatever she's doing and and that value of that home went up it was a little over ten thousand close to eleven thousand dollars and i showed her that things like this that you're not noticing or even looking to find out or you know how do you not want to know what's going on with your property and what's going on with your options so, you know, that's, yeah, that's, uh, it's so funny that you say that, you know, how do you, how do you not want to know? And I pose that, I pose that question to you, those of you who are soon to be property owners who are looking to get in the game, I'll be your first time who are investing, you know, it's a different mindset. And uh, again, this is, I have to shout out you guys that this is the significance of the property owners EDU conference coming up here in the um, greater LA area. We'll be holding it October 26th at the Carson Civic Center. And that is exactly why, because there are a couple things happening. Yeah, there, yo, I, you can't wait, y'all. But <laughs> I cannot there are a couple things happening wait. that existing owners they buy it right so they bought their property and then they turn the other cheek right life goes on and they're not up to date on what's happening with you know the the, the regulations tax implications um different things that are impacting their real estate and so you know for you guys to be uh, an integral part of the conference by the way thank you uh, your dream adu is having a having session at the conference so that you can really get connected um, I imagine that they're going to kind of show you, uh, Sean, I, I don't, I don't want to volunteer with what you'll do, but Sean actually does the 3d designs and show you like the homeowners during consult really get to see, you know, here's some options and floor plans for you to choose from. Here's the budget. And I think that's the proper way of doing it versus what we discussed when we talked about it in part one, dealing with the, you know, quote unquote, bad contractors and the pace folks who give you a carbon copy write up an estimate and say $16,000 for windows. And then you go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, um, you know, we like to come out and definitely spend as much time, you know, the, which is needed, um, you know, more, not more than we have to, but what, basically what is needed for them to be fully, you know, satisfied and educated about moving forward with this decision and just having, you know, all the things that, you know, will help them make an educated decision. I like it. And that's, that's, that's key. So <clears throat> the legal conversions. Um, and so where, where do you guys come in? Let's, let's just talk about that. And we're going to get ready to wrap this up. Um, because again, you guys really appreciate that. We're really extrapolating, right? We're taking, <laughs> we're taking all this, all your knowledge, all your experience and breaking it out into five parts so that people really can see that this is the process. This isn't like a one time sit down, you're going to get it. Uh, there's different scenarios happening, um, different ways that people can get in and use this as a solution to, um, create that passive income. And we like to call it in our industry, Z money, which is you're making money while you're sleeping. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So um, with the legal, so my question is, uh, for those cases that you, people are calling you and they say, hey, yeah, I have this illegal conversion. Just walk us through, um, how do you, 
you know, how are you, how are you now like coming to save the day? You know, how do you come in and save that homeowner and say, here's, here's where we need to start. Like, where do, where do they get started? Started with dealing with, you know, I guess they got a notice and they said, hey, well, we, I can you just got to tear it down or fix it. Yeah, I can give you a walkthrough. Basically, um, on St. Patrick's Day, uh, me and Sean had a client, um, and uh, that was the same woman, uh, uh, the same woman um, that we were just that was basically talking to you. So we, I showed him to the property. Um, you know, uh, we had we gave her actually a, a happy St. Patrick's Day card. She she kind of was crying because she was stressed out because of the whole situation with the neighbor. So mm. she thought it was very nice of us. We came out, we took some videos, we, um, you know, we got the, you know, our contract on the line. Um, you know, we understand that there was some footing, footing issues. We sat down with them and we take it like a, you know, like a yeah. massage thing. You know, I don't know. Like, I, I'm, you know, you just, you just don't take it to the point where, oh, this is the price and you leave. Like certain people do. Or, hey, I got to get out of here. It's St. Patrick's Day. I got to go drink. You know, I sat there. I think we, we were there for about almost two hours. And a lot of people say, oh, it's a an hour consultation and we'll charge. I'm, I can't charge anyone because I'm coming out and I'm helping the situation and this woman offered me food she made me lunch lisa like mm -hmm. she made me lunch a packed lunch she made me lunch um offered me water and, all, and whatever and it's it just they open up there you know they open up there you know you're you know you're a real estate agent you know oh, yeah i know you know but 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 you're usually in the situation where it's in the good they're looking to buy the home they're all excited yeah. and happy i'm dealing with the, uh, you know right. <laughs> so well, no, no and, and well to add to that no i absolutely get it so yeah while I deal with buyers, but also on the sell side, oftentimes people are stressed out and they're facing financial hardship. And I think this is a great point right now for me to interject this um, for those homeowners and those of you who are listening or know somebody, those properties, um, if you got a, a adjustable rate mortgage during 2007, 2008, the 10 one arms are set to adjust, which means you've gotten a notice within the last 60, uh, 60 days or so, even within the last year, where you are now facing an increase in your mortgage payment and a, an exorbitant increase to the point that you are now falling behind and you've received what is called the notice of default. You have 100 days from that NOD, the notice of default, to actually negotiate terms, um, uh, see what you can work out with the lender. So people are really facing hardship, you guys. And so, right, it, it's not always right on the bottom side. Sometimes you have to deal with the hardship and being, a, okay, where do I get this? Forty thousand dollars or fifty or thirty thousand dollars to fix the garage. So because exactly. I can't do an ADU right now because I can't even think about an ADU. Well, let's go back. Did you did you realize that you've been in this home for fifteen years? Yes. How much equity do you have? Oh yeah, we do. We yeah, right. we have some equity, but we have to go that way. We have to. Do, well, if you're gonna go that way anyways, to try to figure out thirty thousand dollars in the next six months anyways, let's just figure out now and lay it all out and go over the ROI on the ADU. Let's go over the rent in your area. Let's go over the transition in Los Angeles rent in the next five years. You know, you'll be able to, some people, you know, who can afford it will be paying you up for a sole individual up to, for a one bedroom living space, like a like a detached garage or an apartment or, you know, a studio up to $2,000, $3,000, I would think in the next two or three years, like easy. Right now it's at like, Eighteen to twenty four hundred. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say we're at like eighteen hundred right now. You know, so it's gonna be like three thousand dollars soon. Mm -hmm. You have to realize that we are in Los Angeles, probably the top five. We are the top five city in the world. We're about to be number one for Magic Johnson sense. <laughs> we're about yeah, to be yeah. number one in the world. You know, so yeah. that's amazing. You know what we're about to do. So don't think about taking the garage and just fixing it and scraping up and stressing over forty thousand dollars when we could easily make this a better process, smooth. You know, you're dealing with the inspector who's scary, scary, scary. Well, let's get someone else a better, uh, a new voice. Um, you know, something that like like me and Sean come in and then we get a good contractor that will work. Someone who's a stress-free contractor, who's not as busy as a normal contractor, who could actually focus and deal and work with this particular, you know, person. Because they have a time a time clock now. This isn't like someone who's just shopping ADUs with us and they, they looked at the website for 30 days, they checked out the Instagram for a week, and now they're having a consultation with us. No, some of these people don't even want to wait for that six months. Not even, you know, they want to do it right now once the once it happens. Right. So that's they have awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's what's that's awesome. I what I hear is, and I think you I'm just gonna recap because I heard you say that process about evaluating where are, where's the financing gonna come from. So for those of you who are listening. And yeah, you go, great, that sounds great, but how much is this gonna cost? Where I'm gonna get it from? 
clearly you're going to explore your options. And these guys, um, Joseph and Sean, they walk you through, they are your customer service. They are your support team. They become part of your team. And what I really appreciate, and, I, and I've heard this time again, and even when I met them, and even with collaborating with them, they definitely come from a space and a place where it's genuine, they care, and it's it's making sure that you are satisfied and you are not carrying the extra stress that yes. we see, even myself with dealing with people who are dealing with conversions. And I mean, anything related to property is stressful, which is why yes. I do the show. This yes. is exactly why I do the show in bits and pieces because people will easily be stressed out about all this information that they, no one grew up telling you about this stuff. Right, 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 <laughs> right. And you know, and you know, Lisa, and be, I know we're gonna cut on, um, you know, for everyone, if you wanna check out more of the, uh, the, the, the behind the scenes and a lot of the stuff that Sean uh, has up there, check out the Instagram, we're at, at your dream ADU. Please look that up, you know, go cut, look at our website, do some research. I have homeowners that, again, um, you know, they, they, they've, they've looked at, you know, or done a little bit of research on us for a couple of weeks or they'll look at the Instagram and they'll see this and they'll see that and they'll say, Hey, you know, like I've done enough. And I know, you know, uh, you know, I know that you guys could probably come out and help me. Sean has testimonies of that through Facebook, you know, people dealing with, remember the bad, bad contractors again, but illegal garages too. They're on there. They'll right. contact us. And that's a scary moment. Just even say, Hey, you know, I'm, I have, yeah. a legal, I have an illegal situation. You know, yeah. I need you to kind of help me. It's kind of like yeah. Sean and them are talking in code. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, because they could easily think that we're going to go call the city or do anything, you know, and it's like, and you got to, and you got to make sure too, yeah, so when you leave and, you know, you get out there, like, you know, I'm your friend, I'm your family now. I am not going to go do anything on the side. Like another contractor would go do, because I know this, I'm, I'm, i it's happened to my family before. They, they just leave and call the city. Next thing you know, it's back on. Now, I'm, I've seen it with my mom. Wow, you guys really appreciate that. Uh, yes, check out the IG Instagram at Your Dream ADU. Uh, their website, yourdreamadu.com. And it, this is so timely, you guys, that you have taken the initiative to really educate property owners. And I continue to really watch you guys succeed in this, change the game. Uh, in ADU. So I cannot wait again as we continue our five part series. Uh, with two you. more. Got two yes. More. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we'll, we'll knock this out. If you just caught part three illegal units, make sure you check out uh, part one and two, where we talk about dealing with bad contractors and senior living. So stay tuned as we come back with Joseph Leduc and Sean Smith of Your Dream ADU on our, our next series. All right, you guys. Bye Thank bye. you guys for today. Thank and you. we'll uh, connect. Thank we'll you, connect Lisa. Soon. You're awesome. Love your energy.